This is the Elegant Writer Pen from Speedball. It contains a dye-based black ink, and although it's available in other nib sizes, this particular one is the 2.0 chisel nib. I understand there are other colors, but that black is where the magic's at. It was sent to me by a viewer, and I have to say, after watching a few videos and seeing what it could do, I was super hyped to try it for myself. It seems to be marketed as a normal calligraphy ink pen, but it has an interesting characteristic. When it is re-wet, the ink spreads into multicolored runs, and you're going to get to see it here, but I'll also link to a couple of videos in the description. Because, well, I really messed up toward the end. More on that later. For this session, I chose to redraw an old pencil sketch from about a year ago. It was supposed to be a sort of ghostly apparition, um, like something from an Edgar Allan Poe story. The paper is Arches Hot Pressed. I didn't want to do a 9 by 12 piece, so I cut it down to a smaller size. Maybe now is the time to apologize for the clickbaity title. Usually I try to resist going that route, but there are times when you just gotta give in and play the game, right? That reminds me, it's pretty rare for a title alone to make me laugh, but the other day Becky Trigger uploaded, is this the ugliest color? And it had me rolling. I mean, I already watch all of her stuff, but even if I didn't, there is no way I would not click on that.
Now, here is where it gets interesting. With just a brush and plain water, re-wetting the ink brings out shades of blue, green, and even pink. In one of the videos I watched, it was suggested that once activation occurred, the ink would become stable upon drying, and that if you wanted to avoid unwanted activation, a spritzing over those areas with a fine spray mister, then letting it dry would do the trick. Now, I'm going to go ahead and spoil this video by admitting I forgot to do that step. Thus, my piece turned out rather different from what I was trying for. I also want to point out that in a subsequent off-camera test, I drew a different sketch, wet it thoroughly, let it dry, re-wet it, and it reactivated. Look, a case of user error on my part is entirely possible, or I might have been wrong in assuming stable meant waterproof, or perhaps the formula has changed. Regardless, at this stage, I was pleased with how things were going. So without thinking things through, I decided to add some watercolor to this piece, and that's when the screw-up occurred. Which was my own darn fault, because I'd forgotten there was plenty of ink there that hadn't been activated yet. You know what? I'm actually okay with the result. It looks kinda cool. In an emo way. No, I probably won't use this pen with watercolors again, but I imagine the elegant writer could be a great match with colored pencils. Plus, I sorta love the look all on its own without other mediums. I'm happy to share this arting experience, screw up and all, because there's no crying in art. Wait, I take that back. There is crying, but then you add another loose stroke or three, some more splatter, and claim it's edgy. Then laugh about it later. Oh, good times. So until next time, remember, 
it doesn't have to be your mistake to learn from it. And stay artsy, my friends. 